Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Microsoft Edge browser is preventing you from installing extensions. So this should hopefully be able to resolve your problem, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Type in RegEdit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now, before you proceed, I would highly suggest you create a backup of your registry. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. So in order to create the backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Keep export range at all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you need to do is select file and then import and find the file location that you saved it in. So pretty straightforward and we're ready to begin. So we're going to start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Locate policies and double click on it. Double click on the Microsoft key. Double click on edge. And if you need to know where our file path is, if you need to pause the video, you can see it up at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different folder we've gone under to get to this point. Under Edge, there will either be a folder that will say Extension Install Allow List or Extension Install Block List. You want to go ahead and right click on either of them. If you have one or both of them, you want to delete them. So go ahead and just right click on the folder and select Delete. It's going to ask you sure you want to permanently delete this key. Again, we're deleting the extension install key. Go ahead and select yes. Once that's done, you can close out of here. You will need to restart your computer, and that should hopefully be able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.